With the Place Arc tool, you can create circular arcs. You can find the Place Arc tool on the Home Ribbon tab in the Placement Ribbon group. Arcs can be placed clockwise or counterclockwise, and there are several methods to be used for constructing the arc. In this lesson, you will learn Place Arc. Continuing in Learning.DGN and the AccuDraw model, we'll be creating a series of arcs using a few different methods. To create the first figure, start by placing the 30 unit horizontal line using Place Smart Line. Make sure the key point snap is set as the active snap mode. Press Reset to continue. Next, we'll place a 30 unit vertical line. With key point snap active, move the cursor point over the midpoint of the line and press O. The AccuDraw compass appears at the center point of the line. Move up the Y axis staying indexed to the axis. Enter 15 in the AccuDraw's Y field. Enter a data point to start the vertical line. Move down the Y axis and press Enter to lock to the axis. Next, type 30 to define the end of the vertical line. Press Reset. The two lines are now in a cross formation. Let's move on to placing arcs. First, we'll place the arc using the Start, Middle, and End method. Select Place Arc, and in the Tool Settings window, select the method as Start, Mid, End, and all other options should be disabled. Define the start point by snapping to the top of the end of the cross. Next. Snap to the left end of the horizontal line. This sets the midpoint or middle of the arc. Finally, select the right end of the horizontal line to complete the arc. Note that the middle point of the arc placement does not have to be halfway between the start and end points. For our second arc, we need another line string with two segments 30 units long in each direction. Using Place Smart Line, build this to the right of the previous one. This time, we'll place the arc using the Start Center method. This method will work in conjunction with preset values as part of the settings in the Tool Settings window. Select Place Arc and set the following tool settings. Method, Start, Center. Radius, Enabled, and the value set to 30 units. Length, Disabled. Start Angle, Enabled, and the value set to 270 degrees. Sweep Angle, Enabled, and the value set to 90 degrees. Direction, Enabled, and the direction set to CCW for counterclockwise. The arc is now fully defined, so we can place it by snapping with a single data point to the lower left end of the horizontal line. Press Reset. We'll place another arc using the start, middle, and end using the same line string to snap to. In the Tool Options window, set the method to start, mid, end, and disable all other tool options. Snap and data point to the three vertices of the line string. For the final arc in this exercise, we'll need another line string 30 units on a side. We create the arc by using the method Start Center this time, however, disabling all other options. Snap and data point to the upper left end of the line as the start point. 
Snap and data point to the right end of the line string segment to set the center point. And finally, snap and data point to the bottom end of the line string. As you can see, using just two of the many arc placement methods can result in different results depending on the other tool options. In this exercise, you learned how to place an arc using a few of the many methods for placement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.